Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Rudy Page, and I'm so pleased. We've got our champion of the, of the International Foreign Song Competition, the founder, Gary McCook. Gary, how are you doing? Doing good on a Sunday afternoon, Rudy. How are you doing over there? All is well, all is well. You better give us the full title. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the title of the song is the Jamaica International Independence Foreign Song Competition. Absolutely right. So, yes. Gary, this now is your third year of staging this competition. Yes. So what has been the response from across the diaspora generally now? Well, you know, um, let me start off with the artists. Um, the artists are very receptive. Uh, they are excited. Um, many of them have been uh, recording and producing for years and um, never had the opportunity, always had it as a dream to be on stage, much less an international stage. Okay. Um, so it's well received by them. Um, most of the artists, are, they have their full-time jobs. So this is a good venue for them where they can go in a studio, record their song, submit it by the deadline. Um, it's aired, everything is basically on social media. So it, they can do, they can function in their normal daily lives and still be a part of this good movement. So the artists are very receptive. A lot of them have been in the business for 30, 40 years and um, just could not make that, uh, find that place where they could showcase their talent. Um, they've always, they've also said that it's not an expensive venture for them because as again, they're recording, you know, everything is um, virtual now so they can get their word across. Um, so it's cost effective for them. Um, the, um, and uh, they are so excited that you know they can be a part of Jamaica's independence celebration without physically being in Jamaica. So from an artist's uh, standpoint, reception has been very, very uh, good. Um, the, the, the level, uh, they, 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 these guys have, and, and, and ladies have gone out, Rudy, and really worked at their craft. Um, if you listen to most of the songs, very high caliber songs. Um, uh, Sometimes I, I, I am glad I'm not a judge because to, to select uh, one, two, or three, I think it's, it's, it's a challenge for the judge themselves. So from the artist standpoint, it's, it's a great venture. Um, from a fan uh, standpoint also, because um, right now it's based in Georgia right now, although it's international, you find that a lot of um, fans can travel uh, from state to state or to Georgia. Again, not a very expensive venture for them. And again, they can be here to um, participate on a live performance, something that if they were back home would be so far-fetched. So from a fan standpoint also, um, and they, then the good thing is that they get a chance to be involved in who goes through to the final seven, because uh, they, their, their vote counts uh, towards 5% towards the uh, final seven. And this year, we had fan, fan participation of over 9,000 votes. Wow. So um, they're infused also, and they're, they're glad to be able to be associated with a quality product. Now, when I, when, you know, when I know we're going to um, come on tonight, I, I saw the thought to myself you know, about the diaspora, and uh, Bob Marley's song came to me, uh, Emancipate Yourself from Mental Slavery. And <laughs> the reason why I bring that up is that you find that we leave Jamaica and we're here in the diaspora, and I think... We all have a great op opportunity. We came here to do better for ourselves and our families. And uh, uh, certain, uh, I would say, isms and schisms that we had in Jamaica, um, one would hope that we would have left it there. Um, so uh, you find that we have the diaspora um, organizations, but in terms of being receptive to the, to the Jamaica International Independence Foreign Sun Competition, uh, we still have a struggle. Oh. And I'm, I'm hopeful that with, with forums like this and, and, and people being true to themselves and say, look, this is a good thing here. Let's, let's, let's give our full participation, full support that we can overcome those 
obstacles and really emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. And I'm, I'm sure you're determined. So I have every confidence in you yes. to overcome yes. the barrier. Yes. Yes. And of course, uh, Fresh FM Radio London, we're, we're playing all the artists' music that you sent in of the finalists. Right. So we're, we're fully behind what you're doing. Yes. So, we thank you for that. For, you know, you guys, Fresh FM and uh, MCW Network have been there since the inception. And yeah. um, you, I know you're taking care of that. European side of the world, uh, I get a lot of feedback. People ask me, how you know Rudy Page? You know, because Rudy Page is well known in this side of town. How do you, I said, you have to have connections. So thanks again, Rudy and um, Fresh FM uh, for being a partner with us. Yeah, no, no problem. We're, we're pleased to do it because in the work that we're doing around the, the broader Windrush Anchor Heritage Education Program, Music and culture is the integral part of the development of our communities, whether in the UK, US, Canada. And as you know, the diasporas are absolutely linked anyway, just because of the migration over the last 75 years. Mm -hmm. So the music has always been an important part. Mm -hmm. And you'll see over the next couple of years that we're going to actually increase what we call music with a message messaging the music so mm -hmm. we'll be putting a lot of resources behind promoting those artists mm -hmm. and you know the musicians as well all the people involved in the industry itself that right. make a difference as it relates to the the community well-being and the uh, as i say the raising of cultural esteem is important and another initiative that we are supporting having just finished the the windrush Five Communities Anchor Festival in August Town, as you know. We're also supporting our August Town music program that's been led by Sergeant McAlpin. He's currently the chair of the, the CDC, the Community Development Committee for Greater August Town. So we're supporting that program, music program for youngsters getting in. Uh, um, uh, instruments and all kind of other sort of equipment and then for next year's what we're calling the Windrush Three Counties Anchor Festival so, you know for Jamaica so going across all 775 communities wow. that uh, the young people who are on this program will will play the, at the opening ceremony mm -hmm. next May so again we're, we're integrating all areas around culture development the neighborhoods so um I, I don't see why your music and the output from your artists shouldn't be part of that in jamaica given that they all came, came from jamaica or through their families in terms of descendants right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in terms of uh, the the broader participation from artists worldwide have you have you seen any increase in that area yes and um, we, we've seen a lot of interest and rudy um what we have to do as uh, gyps uh, for the next year in terms of marketing is uh communicate as best as possible to these artists that look um you can enter and you can actually um be in the finals and do not have to travel to georgia to perform um, and I think that's where a lot of them were scared that, okay, we are here, we don't have the money to travel to Georgia. So we're trying to remind them that you can, you can perform and you can participate in the final. It would have to be virtual and it ha would have to be live because we cannot have them pre-recording and then they'll, they'll, have a dis they'll have an unfair advantage over the other folks. So um, that's a communication that we need to um, maybe do much better on because I'm getting calls left, right, and center. And, uh, and um, when I check some of them and say, hey, why you didn't enter? Oh, no, if I enter, there's no way for me to come. So I think we have to communicate that much better. I remember the first year we had Zena Banks out of London. We oh. did a very good job, um, a very good job out of London and um, beautiful artists. And um, so uh, we, we're trying to, we had, um, Germany was the first uh, country uh, uh, where we had an entrance for the competition. Um, uh, Canada is, is involved for the last, for every year, Canada has been involved 
with, with, with an artist. So we just have to, the, 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 the excitement is there, the enthusiasm is there. And I just want the artists to know and through um, Fresh FM and other um, uh, mediums, we have to communicate that, look, this is for all of us. It's an international independence foreign song competition, but it's just based here in Georgia and that should not be deterred. Right, that's great. And just the way you described it, I could see the potential of regional heats. Here you go. I think the part of the growth and the progression of this mm -hmm. for the next couple of years would definitely would be regional heats where there's a lot of competition. And as you said, there's literally thousands of artists, you know, mm -hmm. out across the diaspora. Yes. So yes. I, I think you've certainly got the space for growth. Yes, yes. And, and you mentioned earlier. Concept. So you mentioned earlier, we're talking about Windrush and Jamaica and the involvement with the schools and all this stuff. And one of the things I want to remind folks are that um, uh, what we do, we, we give, we, we're giving back to the, um, the winner of the TVJ Altogether Sing competition in Jamaica. Um, last year, Rudy, you and I were there at the same time in September. Um, we did a presentation at, at Old Harbor High School. Uh, this year, the recipient is going to be Hanover. They, they were the last recipient. So uh, we're giving back and we're, we're looking into social intervention also. And um, you and I have had a com conversation about how we can um, partner together um, next year in Jamaica and, you know, during the year. Uh, we don't want just to have this competition in, in July here and then everything is stopped. We, we, we got to show um, to the community and the world that we it's a continuous thing. Um, so we're looking forward to that partnership. And we would certainly look forward to um, developing pathways and access into the competition from across the diaspora. Yes. We really would do. So finally, can you provide us with an update on this year's event? Well, this year has been another stellar year, I must say. Um, we started off with uh, uh, songs being entered and then we chose the top uh, 10 songs on May 15th. Um, between May 15th and June 30th, we had fan participation from around the world by just going to our website, uh, jiifsc.com. And uh, the, the fans vote um, accounted for 5% to propel their favorite to the finals. Um, so right now, the, the final seven were, were announced last, last Sunday, June, July uh, 2nd. And great songs. I just tell you, um, we one of the songs "Island Life" by Nikki Spice. She's returning. She was an artist last year. She was the third place winner last year. Um, we have another artist, uh, Leon um, uh, Ernell Erlington, singing "A Jamaica Me Barn and Grow." Great song. Um, we have "Island Jamaica" uh, by Marlon Christie. Uh, More Jesus by Yvonne Johnson. So it's interesting that this year we, we have some soca in it. Um, Ernell Erlington is more a soca type song. Uh, more Jesus is a, is a gospel reggae. Um, cool. Play in a Yard by Dex Daly, a renowned artist out of Panama Beach, Florida. And we have Jamaica in Me by Leon uh, Denton out of Columbus, Ohio. And um, uh, Tanya Lou from Canada returns this year with Jamaica 61. So we have a great um, group of songs. Um, they are excited now and getting ready for rehearsals, which is going to be a day before the event. So they'll fly in and um, rehearse with the with the artists uh, with with the band here. Um, we have a, a great. Uh, we're bringing back um, uh, Labi Luja as a guest artist. He was a first year winner, singing certified Yari. Um, uh, Barrington got his son um, uh, Green. He was a winner last year. He's coming back as a guest artist. And uh, Rudy, this year we have a local artist called Nanamus, who is a gospel artist. So he's going to be, we have those three artists, uh, guest artists. Um, um, the, the, the keynote speaker, which we always say that we need someone there of a certain stature to sort of help us and help us in a foresight and, you know, uh, kind of big us up, if anything. Um, this year we have um, Bastian Watson, world-renowned sculpture which I know has done something for Windrush yeah. also. Yeah, the, the memorial statue in uh, Waterloo Station in London. Yeah. Yes, yes. And he has Windrush. done the Martin Luther King yeah. statue here in, in Georgia. So he's going to be this key, keynote speaker. We have a local MC, Will Hart, who's going to nice up the place. 
And uh, we have Parry Hines. Parry okay. Hines returns as our production manager. Great guy. This is his third year. Said he's not going to leave us and go anywhere. Um, so, it, it, you know, we're all excited. We are selling tickets right now. And um, the, the, the movement is good. The movement is good. Rudy, seven quality songs. Uh, yeah. Any of those could represent uh, the, the Jamaican diaspora worldwide as, as the independent song for 2023. It sounds great. It, it seems as though at some point soon you, you'll have an album of songs. Yes, yes, uh, that we're working on that. Our, our intention is that uh, each year the top 10 or top 12 will become an album. Um, but we found a little uh, bumps in the road because of certain legalities and all that stuff. So we're working through it, but we're not giving up. Um, we, we are third year and all of these things that were promised uh, will eventually come to fruition. Oh, great, great. Right, so just before we go, Tell us once again, how can people reach you, website and the, the final, can they watch it online? How can they access the whole competition? Right, so the, the, um, the website is jiifsc.com, which is the acronym for Jamaica International Independence Foreign Song Competition. Uh, that takes you to tickets, it takes you to the history, it takes you, it, it gives you a chronological um, reflection of, of what we are about. Um, yes, um, for, for folks like yourself um, in Europe and around the world, we will have, we, we will have you will get access uh, so you can watch it on our Facebook and our IG and all the social media platforms. Um, we're just trying to work out the kinks in terms of that, but um, it will be um, uh, announced um, yeah. prior to that, uh, July 29th, um, the finals here in uh, Georgia, at Shiloh High School Theater in Snellville, Georgia, uh, July 29th at uh, 7 p.m. Great. Thank you. And take care. See you soon. Take care. And thanks again, uh, Rudy Page. Thank you. Good night.